Hi. Hymn number 207. The last stanza says, stanza 5. Say, be glad in the Lord and rejoice. His praises proclaim in song with harp, with organ, with voice. The loud hallelujahs <laughs> prolong. God wants you to be singing. Women are crying. Women are complaining. Women are murmuring. He wants you to have a different attitude. And what is that attitude? An attitude of praise. An attitude of thanksgiving. It says, be glad in the Lord and rejoice. His praise is proclaiming in song. With harp and with organ and voice. The loud hallelujahs proclaim. Rejoice, O oh yes. Rejoice, O oh yes. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice. Rejoice, O oh yes. Rejoice, O oh yes. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice. God wants you to rejoice. He wants you to be glad. Don't be gloomy. Don't be sad. Don't allow the circumstances and the situations prevailing in the world to carry you. Even when you don't want to sing, even when you feel like crying, thank God for the music that is going on. The music now, songs, MP3, they are not costly. Buy. Buy a memory card. Download music. Put it there. Then when the enemy wants you to cry, play, play music, play music. Don't listen to the radio all day long where they, they'll be bombarding you with uh, evil reports. Television, no. No. Praise God. Magnify him. Exalt him. The psalmist was a man after God's heart. Because even in moments of trials, tribulations, you still see him praising God. You still see him magnifying God. You still see him exalting God. That is how God wants us to be. Psalm 4 verse 7. Psalm 4 verse 7. There the psalmist said, Thou hast put gladness in my heart more than in the time that their corn and their wine increased. He said, no corn, no wine, no, but God has put gladness in his heart. This is the time to praise, praise God more than ever before. This is the time to magnify him. This is the time to exalt him. This time to worship him. This time to exalt him, to magnify him, to praise him, to give him the praise that is due to him more than ever before. That is what God wants for you, and that is wants for me. His praises we are to ring. His praises we are to sing. Praise the Lord. God loves you. The psalmist said, more than corn, more than food. You see? In Romans 14, 17, Romans 14, 17 says, For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost. Ron Kinoli, Ron Kinoli I think was the one that sang that song. Righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost. You go here, pam, 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 pam. Righteousness, peace, joy in the holy ghost that's what god wants us to be let's be happy let's be happy and when we have the fruit of the spirit galatians 5 22 says we are to bring forth the fruit of the spirit in gladness in jubilation in thanksgiving not in complaining or murmuring let's not talk as the world talk let's not act as the world act let's not go the way of the world let's change let's change let's be glad let's be happy Galatians 5.22 says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love. Love. Continue to radiate love. Continue to radiate love. Joy. Peace. Long-suffering. Long-suffering means things are not well, but you are still patient at it. James 1. James 1.2. 1, he said, Count it all joy when you face diverse temptations. And he says, Well, let your... your your temptation, your patience have a perfect work because sometimes you begin to complain, complain. It's not being perfect. But in that place, you are smiling, you are rejoicing. Apostle Paul says he, 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 he counted his, his trials and his afflictions light. He described them as light afflictions in Corinthians 4.17. He said, I count them light afflictions. Wow! <laughs> that is how God wants us to look at these things. He said, but the fruit of the Spirit is love. Joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, 
be gentle. Let's be gentle with one another, with our various spouses, with our children, with our neighbors. Let's be gentle. Let's be, be kind in our words. On social media, let's be kind. You see some people saying a lot of bad, bad things about other people. No. Somebody make a comment. Gives, you say, see the child like monkey. See this. Somebody posts. I say, ah, eh, how is my dress? How is my hair? You begin to hear abuses. No. You see a lot of suicide going on now because people are stressed up. People are distressed. And instead of people around them to be gentle, to show love, to show understanding, instead you bury them the more, condemn them more. No. The Bible says we should be gentle. We should be full of goodness and faith. Let's keep this faith alive. Let's keep faith with God. So much ritual killing going on now. People looking for shortcuts, shortcuts, short way. No, don't go that way. Don't go that way. Keep faith with God. God is faithful. Little is much when Christ is in it. Little is much when God is in it. We are told in the book of Timothy, Timothy 6.10, it says, Godliness with contentment is great gain. Godliness with contentment is great gain. Let us be content with that which we have and give God the praise. Give God the honor. Give God the adoration. God loves you. And God loves me. And his earnest hard desire for you and for me is that we should be glad and be happy. We should rejoice. We should give God praise and thank him for each day that we have. It's a blessed day. Not everybody has seen today. So when you wake up, tell him thank you. Celebrate him. Celebrate your children. Celebrate your wife. Your children or things may not be okay. But believe that there is a bigger tomorrow. Tomorrow holds for you. Brighter days ahead. A light is shining on our path. For we have seen the light where we rise and shine. Jesus is the light. Tomorrow, tomorrow holds for us. <laughs> That's the best song of my Bishop Daniel. Let's keep faith. Let's keep hope. Let's keep on believing. Let's keep faith with our God. Don't seek, go seeking for other gods. No. When things happen around you, just examine yourself. Make sure you are a child of God. Make sure you are standing. And the Bible says in Ephesians 6, it says that we wrestle not with flesh, we wrestle not with flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness in high places. Then it enjoys us to take on the whole armor of God. And from verse 10 downwards to 17, 18, 19, 20. It gives us the various arsenal of war that we are to put on. And then having given us the arsenal and having done of all, all of those things, prayer, the word, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of truth, you are fit shredded with the gospel of salvation. It says, having done all, stand. Let us stand. Let's keep standing. Let's refuse to fall. Let's refuse to give way. Let's refuse to be discouraged. First Samuel 38 and David encouraged himself in the Lord. Encourage yourself as I encourage myself. Do visit our YouTube channel, Church on the Air, Band of Love Ministries International. Edith Atake is my name, General Vasia, Band of Love Ministries International. Visit, share, like, subscribe. On Facebook, we have five vibrant pages. Search the scriptures. When you pray and I pray, nation building. Like them, share them. God bless you. It's well with you. So happy, happy, happy to be able to speak with you again. <laughs> it's been a while because I've been battling with my phone, battling with my account. I formatted my phone and um, everything just went till while the past one month plus. But I'm so happy to be back again. It's still not perfected, but God is faithful. Anyhow, <laughs> anyhow. As they say on the radio, they say we move. We move in the power and the might of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Are you out there and you have not given your life to Jesus? By the way, we are, we are in need of a very, very good phone. We are still in need of the phone. Very good phone. God bless you even as you choose to identify with us in every way. We also need you to subscribe, to share. We also need to boost some of the pages. God bless you, even as you partner with us to do this work. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves me. 
And if you not, if you have not yet given your life, Jesus is calling you. Very simple process because he had paid the price. He has done the difficult part. And once the simplicity of it for you, for you to simply say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sin. Have mercy on me. Mercy, mercy, mercy. The key is in true repentance. The key is in calling him in sincerity to help you. And when you call him and make him Lord of your life, Lord and Savior, he comes in. And I can see everything turning around. Everything turning around. Everything turning around in our favor. God bless you. Get a Bible. Get a daily devotional. And let's keep this faith alive. Let's keep it going. God bless you. <laughs> it is well with you and I always. Thank you very much. God bless you.